Welcome to Vancouver's Downtown Association's Fantastic Awards Ceremony. 2020 was a year full of unprecedented challenges for our downtown community. Our businesses worked relentlessly to pivot, adapt, and survive the uncharted territory of a pandemic. Ultimately, our downtown innovated and remained resilient to meet the challenge. During this time, VDA kept the same pledge to keep our downtown community vibrant through creativity and collaboration. This year, our 40 committee volunteers contributed over 1,700 hours to work on initiatives to support our downtown community. Over the last 10 years, the Fantastic Awards Ceremony has been a celebration of our small businesses and Vancouver's community-centric values. Thank you for attending today and being a part of it. The 2020 Fantastics is made possible by the Port of Vancouver, USA. The Port's strong commitment to our downtown community is an integral piece in supporting VDA's mission of keeping our downtown vibrant. As much as 75% of what we use every day comes through a port. 75%. For us, that means a lot of the cars we love. Just about all the malt for all the craft beer made in America. Enough wheat to feed a small country. Recyclables, consumer goods, food products, building materials, and much more. Add it all up, and we're 110% happy to call this port home. This year we have six award categories. The Believe and Achieve Award, the Ooh Ah Award, the Yellow Umbrella Award, Vancouver Made Award, the Carl Dobbs Commendation, and the Corporate Sponsor Recognition. The Believe and Achieve Award recognizes startups, expansions, and other small businesses growing in downtown. The recipient of this year's Believe and Achieve Award is Kindred Home Supply. We are a bulk refillery. We offer um, personal and home care product, as well as some like ready-made retail items. There's no trash left behind. Everything is biodegradable, compostable, recyclable at the end of its life. Just doing our best to help people make the change to more eco-friendly products. I've heard a lot of people come through saying that they were ready for a shop like this. I feel really fortunate that I started actually six months into the pandemic because I was able to observe the first lockdowns, how businesses and people were adapting, how we might have to pivot if things got worse or if things got better. But I think that when people discover it, it feels really special. And I love that. The UA Award recognizes the best remodel, rebrand, or successful business pivot in 2020. The recipient of this year's UA Award is Night Market Pop Local. With the pandemic, Night Market Vancouver was shut down. Our only way to really kind of push on is to rethink our business model. It started as something to support everyone through a pandemic, but now is a path to becoming its own store. Now more than ever, people are very intentional with supporting local businesses and it helped everyone involved just a little bit, then it was gonna be worth a risk to try to open up a storefront in the middle of a pandemic. Huge thank you to Vancouver and the local community and the support. The Yellow Umbrella Award recognizes extraordinary resiliency and ingenuity during COVID-19 mandates. The recipient of this year's Yellow Umbrella Award is Kiggins Theater. I purchased the Kiggins in March of 2012, trying to build more of a movie-going culture here, bring people back into the Kiggins. We've got a, a, a good fond following. They've been supportive coming in every Friday to buy either gift certificates or popcorn to go or snacks and goodies for their own movie nights, renting virtual screenings online, marquee rentals if you get a message you want to send to somebody. Um, we've had wedding announcements and birthdays. And my hope is people come back and there'll be a pent-up desire to come back and enjoy movies together as they should be. Uh, on a big screen with others. The Vancouver Made Award celebrates locally made or manufactured items. The recipient of this year's Vancouver Made Award is Blue Door Bakery. We do a lot of fresh breads, pastry, salads, soups from scratch daily, and sandwiches on our house made bread. And we've won awards for our best brunch, and so I want to be able to continue upon that and expand upon that. We were very, very blessed and fortunate to be able to acquire the space next door. This gives us the opportunity to see more, but have it more spaced out, do more wine dinners. We were doing them once a month. I want to expand about that. We do catering, so it gives us more space for catering events. We have plenty of space over there now that you can, you know, be socially distanced, but you can, you know, have a little spot to go get a cocktail. You can kind of do those kind of little things. I love this community. I can't think of another place in the entire world I would rather have a business. The Carl Dobbs Commendation is an award honoring the late VDA volunteer, Carl Dobbs, who championed the downtown tree planting and the revitalization of Turtle Place. This award embodies dedication and sense of duty to our community. The recipient of this year's Carl Dobbs Commendation is 
Holly Williams. My dream has been to do more community art projects. And so we started out in June doing um, an origami mural in the fall. We did one in this space and created a sort of a autumn themed space. And then for the holidays, the giant stars at Boomerang. And we did a Fort Vancouver lantern tour at the VDA. And in this space, we did just um, a giant origami Christmas tree. Today we're working on a pretty cool origami mobile. I think we live in a really jewel of location, but it doesn't all happen with just paid people. It's not possible. It takes volunteers. A lot of these merchants are just trying to pay their bills. So if volunteers can come and sort of activate the spaces, that's really great for everybody. We needed that art connection and, and just connection to this place. This was kind of one way to help um, provide some interest that way. The corporate sponsor recognition celebrates partnerships that made VDA's community development efforts possible. The recipient of this year's corporate sponsor recognition is LSW Architects and Rift Creative. From the day that we heard about this thing, within two weeks we were installing the first parklets. I do some design work, the 3D design part getting to see it rendered out and figuring out well what kind of materials that we're going to be using. Then I get a lot of volunteer and team help to assemble and carry out the construction. It's interesting, it's progressive, it's fun. I knew it was going to be great, but it, it's far exceeded even my expectations. They kind of become landmarks. It announces itself and lets people know that there's something fun to do in town and then instead of having cars occupying this, this portion of the city, now you've got people occupying it. It starts to kind of become a uh, part of the character of Vancouver and it kind of celebrates people coming back together. The collective work between the city, LSW and the VDA, it can be really powerful and I hope we can see more of those partnerships in the future. Congratulations to our recipients and nominees. Moving forward into 2021, VDA will be launching a variety of programs to meet the needs of our downtown community. We have already launched a clean and safe program, Spruce the Couve, focused on lighting improvements, community cleanups, graffiti removal, power washing, and new litter receptacles throughout our downtown core. An e-commerce technical assistance program providing direct support to our small businesses with developing and pivoting their online presence, a downtown Vancouver-made business recruitment campaign, additional public art in our downtown core, a major overhead lighting project at the 600 block, ongoing advocacy and on the ground support, and so much more. You too can be a part of this exciting trajectory. If it affects our downtown, it matters to VDA. To get involved or donate in support of our efforts, visit VDAUSA.org.